welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. Today when you guys are seeing it, it's going to be Thursday, June the 8th, I think. I'm filming this on Tuesday, June the 6th. So yeah, that'd be correct. But I'm back with another day of Loon. Loon day number 6. Um, and I'm coming at you guys with another day in the life. So today for me, um, it's been a pretty eventful day. I'm literally coming at you guys like the first time I've really vlogged myself. It's 3.57 p.m. Yeah been one of those days where I've not had too much interest in a vlog. It's just been work pretty much today. Um, working on my Kroger deals video. I'm actually sitting in the Kroger lot right now because I'm about to head over in there and film. Um, I got some really great stuff this week, so I'm really stoked for that. But I also worked on getting my organization set up, my organizational system set up. I told you guys on yesterday's vlog that I bought a notebook and I was gonna like make my own custom planner out of it. So I thought some of you guys would like to see that. So yeah, I'm really stoked about that. Um, but anyways, I'm here at Kroger. I'm going to grab some deals, grab some grocery things um, for the next couple of dinners or whatever. Um, so that'll be really good. I'm super excited for that. And yeah, guys, it's kind of all I got to say. So let's head on to Kroger now, film my video, get some deals, get some groceries. You guys are probably shocked to see me in a different store other than Walmart because literally it's been Walmart the last three vlogs. You're probably like, does Nick go anywhere else? Yes, I do get to Kroger too. Not as much, but I get to Kroger too. The fun part about my job, since it involves me being in the store just about every day, is that if we ever run out of something or we need something for that night's dinner or whatever, I'm in the store and I can just pick it up. It works out really well that way. We can get our produce more fresh that way. Like we don't just have to go like once a week and that's it. Since I'm in here anyway, we can just pick things up, you know, the sales and things too. So it works out really good. So trying to make meals out of things we have, use things up. We're gonna make a breakfast casserole and we have everything for that except for the shredded hash browns. So I'm gonna get a bag of shredded hash browns. I so wish they had a generic brand of those, but they don't. So full price it is. This is a pretty big bag. Um, and then I also got some more clementines, which when you guys are seeing it, the sale's over, but this is the last day of the sale for me. So I'm gonna get the cuties for $2.99, which is awesome. I got a cart and somebody left all their like receipts and stuff in here, which is kind of weird, but uh, yeah, whatever. It was the closest one. So I'm going to get those. Guys, I got so much stuff in Kroger today. It was really a great, great deal. I had a coupon for $7 off of a $65 purchase. I did a whole haul video going over my couponing stuff that actually went up Thursday morning. So go check that out if you haven't already. But I got some really, really good deals. The only grocery things I guess I got were clementines and hash browns. So yeah, um, not a ton. You guys ever have those nights where it's dinner time and you're just like racking your brain trying to come up with something to make and you, you just can't you can't think of anything like seriously that's me right now couldn't think of anything my mom's working late so i ended up texting my dad i was like hey is there something you want for dinner i was like any ideas and he said taco bell <laughs> he asked for taco bell and i was just like you know what i can't come up with anything better so whatever we're gonna go to taco bell sounds good so yeah we just had tacos yesterday but we're gonna have taco bell tonight it's Tuesday, so Taco Tuesday, right? Live up to that. So, gonna go to Taco Bell. I got a lot of points left actually today. I ate pretty light today, so I'm gonna get my fave, which my favorite thing at Taco Bell, I think, has like the most points out of anything there. <laughs> it's the Crunchwrap Supreme. I love the Crunchwrap. Guys, my phone ran out of storage, so I'm cut off. But I was saying my favorite thing is the Crunchwrap Supreme at Taco Bell. It's so good. It's so good. I don't know if you guys have ever had it. It is delicious absolutely love that thing and i would highly recommend it but wouldn't recommend it if you don't have a lot of points in a day he said it's a high point meal uh, thankfully it worked out that i could get it tonight so i'm really stoked for that but what is your go-to thing at taco bell if you go to taco bell if you're interested what do you get um at taco bell so i'm excited for that so i got the crunch wrap supreme and i also got a thing of black beans which are actually no points on ww which was really cool um so a no point option there so like a side to go with my crunch wrap then i also got some cinnamon twists because cinnamon twists are delicious and half the bag i believe is three or four points so it's not too bad actually it's not too bad at all so that'll be a good little good little dessert not not horrible I man it's a higher points thing but because i hadn't ate a ton today i had the points to do it so it worked out good um guys yeah um hopefully on my next balloon we got dinner to cook and we should we should i'm already uh, we're gonna finalize a meal plan tonight so that we um you know are set up for the rest of the week um and it's just yeah but sometimes sometimes your best laid plans fail and you know you just gotta go to taco bell so that's what happened i'll get to you guys once we get home all right so here's my deliciousness from taco bell 
Look at that crunch wrap. That is so, oh, it looks so good. If you don't know what it is, it's a tortilla, but they also have a tostada in there and tomatoes, sour cream, lettuce, nacho cheese. It's so good. And these black beans are awesome, actually. Um, and I looked them up in the WW app, no points. They must not use oil or anything in them, but they're really good. So a nice dinner. My tonight. office work area is right by the swing and he keeps waving in the window. Hope you realize this is going on YouTube. All right, guys, so here it is. Here's my notebook. Um, this is a cheap notebook. It is not the cheapest of cheap. There are cheaper notebooks. Walmart has their own, like, pen plus gear. They'll be, like, 35 cents here in a couple weeks. I didn't go with one of those because the paper quality is not that great, and I wanted something more sturdy. Um, so I went ahead and went with this one. It was still, it was, like, $2 and some change, so really inexpensive. Um, at Walmart, it's the Exceed brand. It has a really nice cover. Um, this nice gray cover here and then it also comes with two pockets so i mean that's really awesome so i went ahead and splurged if you can call two dollars and something change splurging on a notebook but i was happy with that and i already had post-it tabs at home these really come in handy too um, with all the different sections i have used pre-printed planners before and honestly i probably will again at some point in my life but for right now i decided to just go full on diy mode because i just want one notebook to house everything i need it to house literally i need one notebook that I can plan my month in, that I can plan my weekend, that I can do my budgeting in, that I can just have scratch paper, that I can make a grocery list in. One notebook. I cannot function with five different notebooks. I went through a time where I tried to use like multiple notebooks for things and no, it just was too much. So let's go ahead and dive into this. I kind of use the bullet journal system to an extent in some of what I'm doing, but I don't know. I don't even know what you would call this. This is just my system. So like I said, it starts with these two pockets, which is awesome. And then the first tab is the future log. So basically it's where you have a place to put your future appointments. As appointments come up and things, you just write them here on your calendar. So that way you, you know, it could be July and I schedule an appointment for December. You know, if I didn't have it wrote down here, I wouldn't have a place to put it. So I'll go ahead and write it here on the future log. And when I'm setting up my month, which is next... I will just simply reference the future log. So let's say I'm setting up September. When I'm setting up September, I'll look here under the September future log, see what appointments I have going on and transfer them to my monthly calendar. So my monthly calendar, I just did one page. I did not think I would really like the huge eight and a half by 11, but guys, I'm loving it. And I'm loving the fact that it's coiled. So I literally can just do this. Just look at one page. I love that. So I have my monthly calendar here all in one page. My YouTube videos, I like to plan those out. Let me zoom out a little bit more here because I want you to be able to see everything. Um, and you totally could. You totally could do this on an app or on your phone. Um, but I just, I don't know. I just like pen and paper. I don't know why. I just, I've tried to get away from it because I know there's some convenience factors about your phone that's better. Like it's always with you and things like that. But I just can't get away from pen and paper. I just like it and I'm embracing it. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So then comes in my budget. Um, and I am just like writing out a budget and I used to be more like had a lot more going on than like so many different categories, like gas and groceries and eating out and spending money. Like, no, I gave that up. Now I just say, okay, here's how much money you can spend per month. And I keep track of it that way. You know, if I had to spend more on groceries, then I need to spend less on eating out. If I, you know, had to spend more on groceries, I need to spend less on, you know, personal spending money or things like that. I kind of like viewing it in one whole category instead that kind of helps me out. So that's what I've been doing. And what I'll do is, so here's my budget. I have income bills and like my savings and envelopes and money I want to pour towards extra debt. I'm still trying to pay off my student loans. Um, but then I have checking account ledger and then I have these envelope spending. So this is just like my variable expenses. So what am I spending at the grocery store? What am I spending on gas? What am I spending? So all those variable transactions, I just log each week and then I do a weekly check-in. So what I'll do is I'll take my whole amount I gave myself for the month, see how much I spent that week, and then I'll divide it by the number of weeks left. And that's how much on average I can spend for the rest of the weeks. And I just kind of reevaluate it each week. Okay, and then to the actual planner itself, this is what I did. So I basically did it where I had four different like blocks or whatever but i split it in half so um over here is a like chores to do list appointments i'm just personal to do's and over here is work stuff i color code it red for youtube i don't know why i've always done that but red for youtube and then just blue for like everything else let's break it down by the day i put dinners up here at the top as you can see we got a meal plan for the next couple of nights so no more excursions to the taco bell and then i just have it for the other um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then the other two blocks, I did a habit tracker, which I gotta continue filling out, um, every day, and then over here, I have a prayer list, so, 
you know, I didn't fill that out because, you know, prayers can be personal. But if you guys ever have a prayer request, I know this is a couponing channel, but feel free. I've had a few of you lately come to me and ask me to pray for needs in your life. And seriously, that means so much that you would think of me to do that. It truly would be my honor to pray for you if you had a prayer request. So anytime with you want to comment or if it's too personal, you can always DM me on Instagram or whatever. Um, but I would love to pray for you. So I have that there. So guys, this is my notebook planner. I am in love. I love this thing. It's going to make my life so much. So easier. yeah, that is my new notebook planner, all that fun stuff. I'm really excited. I think it's going to work out great and help me to get stuff done. But anyway, guys, uh, actually I went back out to the store tonight because I realized I messed a couple things up at Kroger um, with the deal. So I went back and filmed and I went ahead and picked up the rice vinegar deal again. If you guys saw my video, uh, my Kroger video or my haul that went up on Thursday. Oh my gosh, guys. Kroger is on point right now with their deals. There's a really good moneymaker on some rice vinegar. And I actually went ahead and maxed it out on all the apps. So Swagbucks had it. My points had it. Tada had it. And Inbox Dollars had it. So I wound up doing the deal eight times, which was wild. Yeah, that was so awesome. And it really felt like the old time extreme couponing. Like loading up like that. Doing the multiple transactions. All that fun stuff. I had an amazing, amazing haul between there. I also ran to Walmart to do a couple, um, I did the Suavitel again, I love that deal. Um, and then another deal too. So yeah, um, it was a really fun day, extreme couponing and awesomeness. So guys, that is all I got for today's vlog. Hope you all enjoyed and thank you so, so much for watching.